Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. This is a presentation of the BOCES Board of Education Task Force for Career and Technical Education. This is a report that we've been working on for about seven months now uh, with the objective of increasing opportunities for high school students in Eastern Suffolk to have access to high quality career and, edu career and technical education. Our enrollment in BOCES CTE has declined by nearly 700 students in five years. The governor says there's 210,000 unfilled jobs in New York State, and the reason for that is because the workforce isn't skilled to take them. We have a disconnect between students graduating 12th grade and joining the workforce effectively. Well, though college enrollment has been steadily rising, the problem is nearly 50% of all students who enter leave without a degree. Uh, the United States has the highest college dropout rate in the industrialized world. Uh, and I would also say that many of the students who get out of college with a degree don't have a direct connection to a job and continue to be unemployed. I think that we fail students in helping them to understand why do I go to school, why am I sitting in this class, and what does it have to do with what I'm going to do as an adult. One of BOCES' strengths is we do career and technical education very well. Uh, so we need to figure out how do we meld that you know, with what's going on in, in a district to make sure that all students can benefit from that connection between learning and what happens after school. You know, there's complicated factors as to why that's happening and the task force took the time to look at all of those factors. We also need to take a look at, at how to make our programs more affordable. We're bound by some regulatory things that make it difficult for us to be flexible in the way we uh, fund these programs and, and charge tuition for these programs. Now the state average of graduation rate is about 70, 77 percent. We have over an 89 percent, 89.9 percent graduation rate. Our culinary kids, year two, they're going to walk out of our culinary program with a certificate and have uh, some of them going on to Johnson & Wales walking through the door with 16 college credits. And you know, in today's market, 16 college credits to Johnson & Wales is considerable savings. It's a tough world out there. The economy's tough. And uh, if kids are not getting tooled in the right direction, they're going to have a really difficult time surviving. We need to uh, emphasize the, the, the benefit of the having BOCES in the community and doing the things that they do and the training for the people who want those, that kind of training. A couple of years ago, BOCES became a member of the Long Island Metro Business Action, our, our LIMBA program. And uh, we came here and to learn about what uh, these people can do for industry, and it's a lot. Well, you know, I started out as a craftsman. I did not have an executive job when I started my life. I learned a lot. I found out that people who build things are very smart, and I love them. There's all kinds of ways to get into the pinnacle, and uh, this is one of them. The ball's going to come up, throw over here, and we picked up the food and various system and we're just going to turn the robot around and we're going to shoot it. We have six weeks to design and build this robot, completely program and wire it. Uh, it starts from, we get a kit of parts, it has basic materials, but other than that it's all handmade in a wood shop in our school. It's taught me a great deal about programming, it's taught me a great deal about you know what exists in the world out there what, you know, what possibilities there are. Have you decided uh, what you're going to do with yourself uh, after high school? I don't know for sure, but I do know that whatever it is, it's going to involve computers, it's going to involve building robots. District's primary, at primary um, issue when they're thinking about who to send to career and technical education is fiscal. When you ask parents what is most important about who to send to career and technical education, they want to know um, is there going to be a job at the end of this when my child is, is an adult? We have to get the word out. So this group hopefully is going to have some answers on how we can do that and also how we can enrich the program even more so we can make it even more relevant for the children. You can get a job 
for $60,000 a year coming out of the heating, ventilation, and air conditioning program. Walking out the door. So 18 years old, able to get a job for 60 grand a year. How does that help you? How does that help your family?